We need to have a zeal in worship. Christians who don't sing and worship have a real issue because this idea of boasting in God has the idea of jubilation, elation. And you know what Israel did when they were joyful? They sang. We've been reading the Psalms for years now in our worship. You know what the New Testament did when they were in worship and they wanted to show their joy to the Lord? They sang hymns, psalms, and spiritual songs, Paul says. And that builds up the body. We need to sing. Don't ever come to church and say, well, I can't sing and I'm not going to sing. It doesn't say if you can sing, sing. Paul commands every Christian to sing. It doesn't say if you could be on these TV shows and get an award for singing. You see, before modern entertainment, nobody knew they couldn't sing unless somebody was rude enough to tell you. And nobody's going to do that in this church. And if we're all singing, we won't even hear the, peop- the few people who can't sing. You know, when, when I was in seminary, and I think Frank had Clayton Herb as well, and the, the master's uh, men would sing at the uh, Shepherds Conference, and he'd say, out of all 200 guys, there might be one or two out of all that group that really can't sing. And I'll tell you, and you just do video singing where you move your mouth and you don't sing. And everybody else will cover it up. That wasn't me, and I don't think it was Frank either. (laughs) But it's not about your ability or your gifting. Maybe you have a gift to sing, and you'll you'll be up here uh, doing some things at some point. It's not about that. Zeal and worship means you rejoice and you sing. If you come to church and everybody is singing and you're like this, either you're really convicted of your sin and you're in prayer, or more than likely, you're just refusing to sing. And that's sad. That's not rejoicing. Also, zeal in worship means that you hear the word proclaimed and you, and you adjust your life to line up with it. The word goes out and you adjust your life. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, now I need to remember that. I need to take note of that. I need to remember that each day and practice it and live it out. I need to change my way of thinking. I thought it was this, but the Bible says that and the pastor brought that out. We have a passion for that. We're not just coming to absorb knowledge. We're getting information, yes, but we do something with it. We put it into practice.